Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a leg workout. Um, you can kind of see here I have tape all over my shoulder because I messed up my rotator cuff and then the doctor said I like sprain or strain my lat. So I can't really do much with, I can't like lift my arms above my head. So like I can't do shoulder presses or anything above shoulder height. And so I can't do barbell squats or like even hold heavy weights just because it like pulls and it hurts. So this workout is mainly single leg exercises. Ho ho ho. But like let me tell you, it is killer. Like you could do so many squats with heavy weights and deadlifts and like go ham on weight. But until you do a single leg exercise, you have not felt a burn. Holy. It is amazing how much more weight you can do with two, like using both legs, than you can with one. Because I, so like when I was in grade nine, I fractured my knee. So I have yet to be able to do even squats until the last like year or two. And so bending my knee was always a problem. So like I didn't even do legs really at all. So now, like as you will see in one of the, actually the first clip, it's a single leg leg press. And I used to not be able to even do this, like, with just the machine weight, which is like, I don't know if it's like, some of them are different. I think the one I was using originally at my old gym was like 16 pounds or something like that. I don't know. But I was able to put 150 pounds onto the machine because I've been doing a lot of single leg exercises because I want to build up the strength so my knee stops hurting. And it's helped so much. So I really hope you enjoy this workout. And yeah. I really like I, I, I highly recommend doing single leg exercises rather than just doing like with both legs because it'll help build up strength in each leg and then it'll help you get more strength using both legs. So you can up your weight in everything, which is really awesome. So yeah, if you want to see this workout, then keep watching. When doing a single leg leg press, you need to make sure your knee stays in line with your foot and it's not caving in or going out. And keep your back flat against the seat as well as keep your toe pointing forward and only go as far as your hip joint allows without lifting the hip or butt off of the seat. And we're going to do four sets of eight reps on each leg. So now we're going to get a little funky and we're going to do a pistol squat into a single leg deadlift. For this one you want to make sure your core stays engaged the entire time and your back stays flat as well as your head is in line with your spine. And holy moly this is a gooder. My hammies were so sore after and we're doing three sets of six reps on each leg.
For this exercise, you want to make sure your back and neck stay flat and in line with each other and keep a slight bend in your knees and squeeze through your glutes so when you're at the top of the uh, movement that you get that ugly butt situation going on because then you will feel it in the glutes. Single leg step up is a quad burner. You want to make sure that you, your back stays flat, your core is engaged, and your head is neutral. We're trying to only push off the leg that's on the bench and not use the leg that's on the floor. So if you have a hard time, flex the foot that is on the floor because you can't push off your heel as easily as you can push off your toe. And we're going to do three sets of eight reps on each leg. We're going to superset this one with the next exercise you're about to see. Now here is something you don't always see and you do get weird looks, believe me. And I call it the banded split lunges. And you really want to make sure that you keep your core engaged the entire time and jump high enough so you don't trip yourself and face blunt. And we're going to do three sets of eight reps on each leg. Banded squat sidewalks are amaze balls because you're under tension the entire time and you really target the glute med to get that side butt popping. And we're gonna do three sets of 20 each way.
watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you tried it out. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, what you think about single leg versus both leg exercises because I find single leg so hard but I'm really working at it to get that strength back in my knee and it's helped so much so I want to know what you guys think and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video with me and I will see you in the next one and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!